Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Joel Irway with DailyFEExamPrep.com and in today's video we are going to be uh, solving for logarithmic functions. If you're following along with the general FE exam specification format, we will be under the Mathematics and Advanced Engineering Mathematics uh, subject with specific regards to algebra. So let's go ahead and get started. So today's question is asking us to solve for x given the equation or given the series of log of x to the base 3 minus log of x minus 4 to the base 3 is equal to 1. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we are going to use our logarithmic properties which can be found on page 19. Okay, so here we are on page 19 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, and uh, we are going to be using a couple of these properties. And the first one that we are going to be uh, using is this identity, this last identity right here. So uh, log of x to the y with some base is equal to log of x minus log of y if they have the same base. Okay, and if we look at our uh, question, that is exactly what we have. So we have log of x to the base 3 minus log of x minus 4 to the base 3. Sorry that 3 is, it looks like it's 3x, but that's actually a base, um, uh, is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and, uh, and solve for it. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, we are going to uh, rearrange this based on the identity that I just showed you. So we know that if we've got the same base and we are subtracting those numbers then we are actually going to be um, log of the base 3 of x over x minus 4 is equal to 1. Okay so uh, that's again using the logarithmic property on page 19. So now, if we go back to page 19, we have to reference the um, logarithmic property that tells us that um, log of the x to the base b is equal to c, where that base number b raised to the c number is equal to x. Okay, so let's go ahead and translate that to what we've got right now. And I'm just going to rewrite that so we have it for reference. Log base b to the x is equal to C. So we know that our base is 3, okay, our x value here is x over x minus 4, and our C is equal to 1, okay. So we know that B raised to the C is equal to x. So let's go ahead and input those values right now. So basically what that tells us is that we've got 3, which is our base, raised to the c, which is equal to 1, so 3 raised to the power of 1 is equal to x over x minus 4. Okay, pretty simple. And so all we do from here is we solve for it. Okay, so I rewrote it really quickly, and uh, now we just need to solve for x. So let's go ahead and solve for x. So if we just do simple cross multiplication, we've got 3x minus 4 is equal to x, which equals 3x minus 12 equals x. And then subtracting from each side, we're going to subtract that 1x from the 3. So we'll get 2x and then bump that 12 over to the other side. 2x is equal to 12 and then divide by 2 and we get x is equal to 6. And if we look over at our multiple choice, that looks like it's option um, uh, letter A. Okay, so this is the second logarithmic problem that I solved for you guys. And uh, hopefully this is helping clear up some issues. Um, what I would love for you guys to do is, first of all, like the videos if this is helpful for, to you. Uh, and share them with your engineering, engineering friends. But I also need your input. Um, what math problems or what calculus problems, statistic pro statistics problems do you want me to solve for you? What ones are you having trouble with? I'd love to be able to answer any questions that you have and put them up for the rest of the community to share. So go ahead and find the tab on the top of the website and uh, over at dailyfeexamprep.com and, uh, and uh, shoot me an email. I've got an, I've got an email address there that you can ask me any question. So this has been Joel Irway. Thank you so much for watching the video and stay tuned for the next one.